Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so what are we talking about today? We are talking about big volumized hairstyles. Now, I've gone to an over-exaggerated sort of volumized style today, but however, I would wear it out, I can assure you. The product we're talking about today is by Tony and Guy, and it's the Volume Addiction Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, this stuff I have been using on and off for several years since it came out. Now, the first thing I think to get out of the way with a Tony and Guy hair product is I often thought that when you actually visited uh, Tony and Guy uh, hairdressers uh, that they actually used their own products in there but to me it was a bit of a shock and I actually learned it's a franchise brand and the brand itself actually has nothing to do with the actual hairdressers of Tony and Guy themselves which we see on our high streets here in the UK so very often um the products that you'll find in Sai Tony and Guy uh, hairdressers is by Le Blem. So I've had my haircut done in uh, Tony and Guy several times here in my local town and have always had a fantastic job. However, the thing which slightly puts me off is the cost. And um, the whole reason why I stopped, uh, I stopped going. I mean, every now and again over the past, I mean, I've been going to the same hairdressers since about the age of 18. Um, and they're really, really good, really fantastic. Um, I've had the odd problem, but we've always managed to sort of out. But occasionally I've sort of changed to one or two. And I've always gone a bit like a bit of a treat of a treat haircut, really, to the Tony and Guy because it's such a great experience. But of course, it is cost. Um, so getting that out of the way, pushing that to the side, the products are actually very little to do with the Tony and Guy hairdressers at all, to be quite honest with you. But with the name Tony and Guy, you expect a certain level of quality. And you know what? This actually really does deliver. So if that's what you're waiting for, this stuff is really really good if you've got fine flat hair now looking at my hair you would think that what on earth is he talking about he's got absolutely tons of hair i actually haven't i've actually got fine hair and I, very often it falls flat so what i need is a product which works for me which bulks out my hair makes it feel thicker and gives me that strong foundation to then go in and style my hair I'm sorry, somebody's using a, like a stone cutter or something outside, but I'm just going to carry on. So I do apologise. I hope, hope that's OK with everyone. Um, so the, the, re the whole reason why you want to use a volume product is, of course, to add bulk and to add thickness to your hair. So it's really important that if you've got fine hair, you choose a shampoo which is actually suitable for your hair. And when I say that, I mean if you've got fine or thin or thinning hair, which, of course, can still look fantastic and really, really great on men and women and can look amazingly styled. But always buy shampoos and styling products which are aimed at your hair. If you've got fine and thinning hair or if you've just got thin hair naturally, never buy a smoothing product or something like for frizzy hair because often they can be quite heavy and they can actually make the hair appear flatter and more lank than actually what your natural characteristics of hair are. So that's my huge tip there. If you take anything away from today, always buy products which are aimed at your hair type. So let's start talking about the product range here. So Volume Addiction by Tony and I. Let's have a look at the shampoo. So it's fibre strengthening system, provides volume and body for fine hair. It's 250 mils. OK, now this stuff is usually around the £7 mark, but do sort of be cautious because if you shop around, you can get this considerably cheaper. Um, OK, so provides body and bounce with natural volume and weightless fill. Now, it actually does do that. How often have you bought a product for fine hair and it says weightless fill? but yet it still aims to give you vo volume and body in your hair, natural texture, that type of thing. This stuff does that, so it conditions the hair really lightly, but it doesn't make the hair feel, feel heavy or cakey or lank. It just gives the hair a nice amount of lift, a nice amount of texture. I'm really sorry what's going on in the background, but as I said, I'm just going to carry on going, <laughs> going on through it. And it just does give a really nice amount of lift, a nice amount of texture into the hair, ready for you then to go on and use your conditioner, and of course for you then to go on and use a, uh, a blow dryer or how you wish to style your hair but it gives a really nice amount of volume and lift in the root area and then on the lengths of the hair it really does give it that natural character feel but yet it's got a little bit more of a wave to the hair it's just so because very often fine hair can just sit on the head it doesn't really do anything it sits really really flat whereas if you use the right products like this system and the conditioner then what you find is that it looks after the hair it conditions the hair but it also gives it life and it gives it sort of air and it gives it sort of um What's the best way to explain it? So it's it's almost like that it's actually living now rather than it's just so flat and fine that it just sits there and doesn't really do much. Of course, having a good haircut can really help with that as well. But of course, using the right styling products and the right shampoo and conditioner can really, really help. So your routine for thicker, fuller hair always starts when your hair is wet. 
Okay, so let's move on a little bit more on the shampoo here. So we have been told that it's our unique salon formula transforms fly, fine, flat looking hair, giving it volume and thickness without weighing it down. The only thing I find a little bit misleading here is our unique salon formula. Okay, so yes, I would say it's absolutely as good as a salon formula, but when you're talking about a Tony and Guy product, you'd automatically think that that was inside the salon as well. It's not, so please don't be misled by that either, but it is a very good system. So we've got here fibre strengthening system, and it's formulated with wheat extract. Now, wheat extract and proteins and things of that nature, you will very often find in fine hair shampoo conditioners, because if you imagine a cuticle of hair, what those sort of proteins do, and those sort of, what's, what have we got in this one? The wheat extract, what that often does is kind of lope itself around the hair follicle, plumping it up, making it thicker, and adding bulk to the hair. Of course, fine hair can be very, very fine and downy, but it can be very polished and soft, so it can be very difficult to hold a style in any volume or texture in the hair. So if you're adding those sort of proteins, those wheat extracts, those type of things, it will bulk up the cuticle of the hair, therefore lifting it away from the scalp, making it appear fuller and thicker, ready for you then to go in and use a blow dryer, or have you wish to style your hair a little bit of pomade if you're a man, or with some like putty and a little bit of free spray, that type of thing. You can get some really nice texture throughout the hair, off to the side, lots of volume off at the side, like what I've got here. I don't expect a lot of people would like real big volumized hair like what I do, but I certainly do. Of course, if you're a woman, you're watching this, those layers will come to life with volumizing products. This sort of, uh, this, this range here, the conditioner and the shampoo, the volume addiction, because it's got the weak proteins in here, it will make longer, fine hair come to life. Um, with a round brush, you can get those light, those layers, you can really bring some character, some root lift into the hair. So perfect system for many, many people with fine hair, men and women, of course. Okay, so let's move on with this. So massage into wet hair from root to tip and rinse thoroughly for optimum volume, follow with Tony and Guy volume addiction conditioner and style with Glamour 3D volumizing spray. Now I actually had the volumizing 3D spray a little while ago, but I'm not going to review it on my channel at the moment because I used it and I just could not get on with it. The shampoo and conditioner is fantastic, but the volumizing spray which goes with this I just really, really didn't like. If anything, I found it was more like a hairspray product. So I found that it was tugging in my hair when I was trying to pass a brush through it. When I was trying to style my hair, it just got really, really knotty. So I've chosen not to include that in this review. I may well use it as a product to review in the near future. But for now, I didn't want to sort of... Um, cast a sort of shadow over this really great shampoo conditioner here. So the volumizing spray, absolutely give it a try. I personally wouldn't recommend it. The shampoo and the conditioner, I certainly would recommend it. I've used this on and off ever since it came out and it is a fantastic shampoo conditioner to use. So I would really recommend that. So let's leave the shampoo alone and let's move on to the conditioner now. So again, we've got volume, addi uh, volume addiction conditioner, fiber strengthening system, and it provides a volume and body for fine hair, which it certainly does do that. So again, it's 250 mil. What I really Really like about these products as well as the packaging it looks super cool super sleek modern and just you know what i mean even though it's got the pink on there a man or a woman could buy that and you know what? i really really like that because of course fine hair doesn't just affect women it affects men as well and we all want to look good and we all want to have great looking hair so the conditioner, let's tell you a little bit about it on, um, on the back of the packaging again. So it provides body and balance with natural volume and weightless feel. It certainly does that. So I've got just styling product of free spray in my hair today. But when I had, uh, I left the conditioner in for about five minutes and then I just washed, uh, washed it out. I didn't use any root lifting product or anything like that at all. I've just used a blow dryer with like a rectangular brush and I've just aimed for the ceiling and I've just brushed everything upwards. So holding the brush quite taut and then up towards the ceiling with the blow dryer in the opposite hand. It really just, just polished the cuticle of the hair, you've got those wheat proteins in here which you can really tell bulks the roots out and just gives the lengths of the hair more life, more character, more vitality, which of course anybody with fine hair, men or women, really, really need. So this stuff, I cannot sing its praises enough. So our unique salon formula transforms fine flat hair looking, uh, looking fine flat looking hair, giving it volume and thickness without weighing it down. So often the same, of course, on the back of the shampoo, but it's got the fiber strengthening uh, system in here. Now, I would believe that would be the wheat protein because, of course, what that does is, yes, it bulks the hair as well, but of course, you're adding structure, you're adding stability, you're adding strength to the hair as well. Fine hair, very often, if you use heat on it very often, can make it appear quite weak, can make it appear sort of quite fragile. With products such as this, what we're talking about today, you can really get that strength, you can really get that vitality back into the hair as well. 
allowing you to create either styles like this, or if you're a woman with lots of layers and things, that really glamorous flowing hair too. Of course, you don't have to have layers to have great volume. You can have a one length, and you can pat a round brush with the hair and just flicking it off at the end, giving it length, texture, vitality all throughout the hair as well. If you're a man, having shorter hair than myself, blow dry everything upwards, taking it off to one side with a little bit of wax, a little bit of putty or pomade, looks super cool, and then picking some pieces out with your fingers looks absolutely amazing for fine hair as well, making sure that you're keeping the sides nice and short. Let's move on a little bit here as well. So after shampooing, volume condition, uh, after shampooing with volume condi uh, a volume addiction shampoo, just move on to wet hair, leave on for one to two minutes and rinse thoroughly. And it says here for added salon volume, towel dry and then spritz roots with Tony Guy 3D volumizing spray. So again, I was very honest and um, still am don't like the product. Um, I'm very honest and I will always give my honest opinion. Um, if I find a product, I would absolutely sing its praises. But if I find a product which I don't necessarily like, then I will inform you as well on the reasons behind it. I love this volume addiction shampoo conditioner. Um, I may well do the review separately of the volumizing root spray. That's just because I want to. I'm not sure necessarily if I want to include that yet because I didn't get on with the product at all very much. But as I say, I love the shampoo and the conditioner and I recommend that to absolutely anyone. So let's just pick up a little bit here on the ingredients on the shampoo and the conditioner, which I always like to just have a look through with you, because very often it's all science ingredients, but you can be quite surprised about what's in here as well. So on the shampoo, which just sticks out straight away, we have got some sulfates and things in here. We've also got the hydrogenized wheat protein in here, and we've got a few other science ingredients. So my take on sulfates, um, very often they can be fantastic for if you wear a lot of styling product like me, sulfates and shampoos are really great at lifting that out but of course just be careful because sulfates can sometimes be a little bit harsh so even though that I don't have any problems with the nape of my neck or my scalp if you've got really super fine problematic hair or thinning hair just be careful with using so many sulfates I don't do not agree with them but I would just say approach with caution because I believe you have to have a certain amount of sulfates in shampoos just to get that nice freshness, that nice vitality and really that stripping effect. But of course if you're stripping the hair every single day and you don't use styling products then that could lead to a little bit of a problem. If you're like me you've got lots of styling products in your hair then you're going to need those sulfates in the shampoo to lift all of that out. There's no getting away from it in my opinion. But if you're sort of like a man or a woman and you've just got that blowed out, uh, blow dried out hair um, and you just leave it for its natural volume and lifting character, then you will not need to keep using a product of sulfates every single day. That's why I always say that your, your scalp is an extension of your face. Yes, wash it every day, but don't be washing it in the morning. Don't be washing it then again in the evening if you've had styling product. Do you know what I mean? Just approach with caution and have a little bit of a think about it as well, because it does contain sulfates in here. And the reason why I am saying that, I don't often say that about shampoos and conditioners, because I just find that with this range, that there isn't almost, I don't want to sort of put a dampener on it, but it's almost like that it makes the hair feel so amazingly polished that it just leads me thinking, is it 100% natural? So just be really, really careful with the approach because I just find that if you were using it and using it and using it and you had a bit of a problem scalp with thinning hair, it may not necessarily be good to use it all the time and I hope that makes sense if you have any questions please leave that down below but as I say I always like to be honest with all of my subscribers and viewers but this is fantastic and I absolutely love this shampoo conditioner but you know when you use a product and you just think to yourself hmm my hair's gone from going like hair to now like glass and I can get that nice volume and texture but is that effect always going to be good for my hair who knows? I'd have to be using it for an awful long time before I'd be able to give a complete honest opinion on that. So I just think approach with caution. And if you were to find that your hair was feeling that sort of sleek, that sort of polished, just be a little bit careful because those effects can often be unnatural and they can leave a little bit of your scalp to detriment of what what you're kind of doing. So in a way you could be counter counterproductive and you could be making a problem worse. So fantastic problem for creating volume and texture in hair. But if the moment you start to notice something, hmm, my hair's feeling a little bit more sort of blank, but it's got its volume in, but it's feeling a little bit sort of too polished, a little bit too heavy where it's conditioning, but it gives that volume. Just be careful with your approach with it. Because as I say, it's a good product, but I wouldn't necessarily know after so much use is it necessarily that great on the roots as well? Because I do find on here that it's just, 
It's that good that it's almost unnatural, if you get what I mean. But it is a fantastic product. So as I say, just approach with caution. Um, and lastly, I think that just moves it on. It's always great to end on a positive. Absolutely love this stuff. Been using it for a while, but I haven't used it sort of every single day for months and months and months and months. It's a product which I jump in and out of. Um, it sits in our family bathroom. Lots of people use it. We have fine hair in my, uh, in my family. Um, and yeah, really, really great. And you can go on to create super amazing styles. And if you like volume like what I've got in my hair today, all I've done is I've blow dried my hair up towards the ceiling. I've taken the hair off from one side using a free spray. And then I've just picked some pieces out, sort of moving it around just so I can sort of get some texture. And I've just sort of swooped the hair off to the side here. What do you think? Hope it looks okay. Cool. It is a lot of volume. It's not going to suit everybody, but I like it. I think it looks really, really cool. Let me know what you think. Um, as ever, absolutely love getting all the comments or the views. I cannot thank you enough. It really, really does mean the world to me. I've absolutely loved doing this clip. Thank you very much for your company. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.